when you are online with these social networks, like you are not alone online. I think it's very important you hear that. So all of your expressive remarks and colorful languages, you think your parents can't see, maybe they can't see it, but the government sees it. The government sees it. That hires people, I can tell you that it's really important the way you lay out your resume. You want to make sure you don't have any mistakes. You want to make sure that you know you're using consistent fonts and and things like that. Um, the way it looks visually is important. You want to make sure that it's it it is concise and it is is easy on the eyes. You know um, you don't need to get too wordy. Honestly, you know somebody that's busy and working 70 hours a week. You know I don't have time to be reading. You know real big long resumes, um, so you want to keep it you know, short and when sweet. When you look at how you want to build your resume, I'll tell you one of the things that, that, um, that people, at least in the banking world, and I think in any uh, business, focus on. Not only the, the, if you had internships or wh where you graduated, what, what ranking and all that, but what did you do? What did you do while you were in school? If you have on your resume that you ran, for example, the, um, the, the, the activities um, board of the, of the college, and you had a budget, that you had to actually work with while you were in college, and you had people who reported to you. Um, that's pretty impressive uh, to someone who, who you know, is, is, is interviewing. Ended up taking a job at Junior Achievement. I don't know if that still exists around today, Junior Achievement. So Junior Achievement is for kids that are trying to uh, run their own businesses. And I, uh, I took the lowest level job that just got me in the door, and I started writing, and I went to the president and said, I really want to do your public relations and your marketing. And I just told him this is what I wanted to do and he paired me up with some people that knew what they were doing and I took some classes on the side and I started to build my own career by getting mentors, taking classes on the side, learning from others and really being open to um, you know, listening to what, what others could, to, could teach me. And I want to tell you that, always be open to learning from others. There's always somebody next to you that you, can teach you something. In college I did a couple internships. I did. An internship at Notre Dame, I did an internship at the University of Maryland, and then my year out of college I went down to the Naval Academy and did an internship there. Um, the experience was awesome. I got to work with the football team. I traveled everywhere, um, learned a lot. The school really had a, a wonderful career services um, program, and every college does, whether they're known for it or not, take it advantage to it to the most that you can. I could go back to my school right now, and I'm sure a lot of alumni could as well, go to my uh, career services department and ask them for help if I needed to. I said, you know, I, I need to spruce up my resume, I need to, let's do a mock interview, something. These are what your schools are going to offer you and it's what you need to take advantage of in order to do well.